Hey guys, so today I figured I would vlog because I have not done that in forever. And as you can tell, I have not had my morning coffee. I'm like super still groggy. So I just brewed some coffee. I'm going to make it in a second. But um, I already got up this morning and took Sophie for a walk down to the mailbox because I had to um, drop off some outgoing mail. In our community that we live in, our mailbox is not in front of our house. It's actually on the other side of the community where the model homes are. So it's a pretty good walk, about 10-15 minute walk. So I just took Sophie this morning while it was still cool outside and she loved it. Um, but what I'm about to do is I'm about to drink some coffee um, and then do my devotions. The plan for today is a lot of stuff mixed into one. Um, I have to do my devotions, I have to work out, and then when I get done working out, I should be going to go get my groceries. Um, I've been doing the Walmart pickup. I have a scratch right here from self. Yeah. Um, I have a Walmart pickup. I have to pick up, I think, at 10. So I'm going to go do that, and then I have to go buy something for our friends. They just moved into our neighborhood, and so they have a housewarming party tomorrow, and I wanted to buy them a little something-something. And when I get back from doing all that, I have to finish painting one of the bedrooms. And I am going to look through all my school stuff um, for the upcoming school year. I also have to clean up <laughs> because I have been really slacking um, in the cleaning department. I've like straightened up the kitchen and everything. But as far as like actually cleaning and like cleaning the toilets and cleaning off the countertops and stuff like that. I've really, really, really been slacking. So, um, I need to do that and I figured I could just turn that into a video, possibly. So, this is the bedroom I've been working on for a couple weeks now. It's like been on and off, but I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me turn you around. All right, so it's this um, icicle. I don't remember who made it. I just tell them that's icicle. So I have this whole section to do because the bed was over there and it was too heavy for me to move. So I've painted most of it and I really like this color and I kind of wish we did this color in the main living areas and that was our plan but then we found Beach House Blue and we we're like oh no we're gonna do that. So one of my many regrets I wish we would have done this. So yeah, I have to paint that section today, and then let me walk you into the laundry room. Actually, you know what? That's all the laundry I have to do today in our office. Mm, it's a mess. Um, I would show you our laundry room, but I'm planning on doing like a laundry room reveal video of like how it looked before and then how it looks now. So I'm gonna wait for that. But I've been really active lately on Instagram and I did show a little bit I think of the closet on there I know I've been showing my painting <laughs> episodes on there but anyways I'm gonna make my coffee I'm gonna do my devotions and work out and then I will oh and eat I gotta eat mm -hmm. and then I'll talk to you guys later on so I'm over here trying to make my coffee and that is the scoop I've been using for my sugar and my husband, he made me coffee the other morning, which is super sweet, and I really appreciated it. But he poured the sugar into the container, and the scoop is under, like, the sugar. Yeah, so, fun stuff. <laughs> Alright, so this is my setup. I have my coffee, my Bible. <clears throat> this is, I don't know what that is. It's a bill of some sort. And then, all of my stuff... Our office is a huge mess right now. I mean, it's not that bad, but like that stuff needs to go in the laundry room, but I haven't, like that stuff does. I just haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it. That's my filming stuff. I don't know about those. That school stuff. And that's my purse and my school bag. So this is my setup for this morning. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. This is not our office chair. This is actually our dining room chair, but we don't have office chair yet. So I already showed this in a recent vlog, but I pretty much just go in the Bible app. I read my things from that, and then I read a little bit in here, and then I write down what I got from it. So that's what I'm about to do this morning.
need, how God knows exactly what you need when you need it. Um, this past couple, this past week, um, I mentioned it in my last video, uh, my grandmother and my husband's grandmother both have cancer. And we had to go back home um, to visit his grandma because she wasn't doing so well. Um, and she is doing a little bit better now, but they're, they're pretty much is like nothing, um, that they can do. They can only shrink it, um, which would give her more time. So, um, and it's in her liver if you're, if you're wondering, but it's, it was a wild weekend. We randomly, we didn't randomly, but kind of spur of the moment went back home. And so we went back home and then came home and our, um, neighbors, our friends, my gosh, our friends just moved down the street. And so we've been hanging out with them a lot and which is awesome. I'm loving it so much. My dog's crying at me because she wants me to play. But um, it's just been like a wild week and God knew exactly what I needed this morning and it showed up in my devotions. And I've been feeling worried about my new job just because it's a new school, it's a new grade, it's a new everything, and um, it's kind of overwhelming, and our house can be overwhelming at times because it's not together, and it's not how I want it to look, and so God just like really spoke to me this morning. So I want to share you a couple like little tidbits of what I got from this morning. I also shared it on my Instagram. I screenshot um, a lot of the devotions and then I'll just post them on my stories and so people can read them. So I'm going to show you what I wrote down in my notebook. Let me flip you around. Three different devotionals and um, one of them mainly just was talking about how you need to put others first. So I'm just going to read them. Putting others first isn't a problem. It's the whole point. And then care more about people than the platforms. And I feel like that's such a big deal because um, I don't know, I get caught up of like my YouTube channel and, and if it's growing or not and um, if my Instagram's growing or not and that was just kind of like, hey, it doesn't matter, like you need to care about the people other than like your platform. You should care about the people that are a part of it. You should care about the people in your family. You should spend time with your family and just stuff like that. I feel like that was like a big um, message and just to put other people first in your actions and in how you love them and give to them. And then this one says, we're all not good enough, but God loves us anyways. Um, and that was big because sometimes as a Christian, you're like, I've messed up, I've screwed up, like I've done all these X, Y, and Z, and he's not gonna love me, and he does in the end. You just have to ask for forgiveness and repent. And that was just big, and it was a good reminder that even though we're not good enough, he still loves us and cares for us. And then the last couple um, little tidbits was the struggle of a new of the new normal, um, which is changes in your life. So there is going to be a struggle with the new normal, but you need to embrace the new adventure because Jesus is with you, and he knows exactly what he's doing, and he puts you there for a purpose. So those are the little tidbits from this morning. And I am about to go work out. I just got done working out and I was so not planning on doing this. But I'm going to go pick up the groceries. The grocery pickup's at 10 and it is almost 10. I have like 5 minutes. It's from 10 to 11 so not too bad. But I am going to um, go pick up the groceries. And I have decided that my contacts are really nice but... I'm gonna try to drive without them. My vision is not that bad. It's like a negative one for a distance. So it's really not like all that bad. So I'm just gonna go down to Walmart. No, let me think. Oh, I turned them on red now. We got these new lights. You see them for under the cabinet and I thought that would turn them off, but apparently not. You gotta hit them. There's a remote somewhere. I shouldn't know where my husband put them. But I'm gonna go to Target first and I'm gonna go see if I can find anything for my friends that just moved down the road for their housewarming party. And then I'm going to pick up my groceries and when I come back, I'm probably gonna hop in the shower and start cleaning. So I put a thing on Instagram and I'm gonna check it when I get back from piddling around and going to the store. 
I asked you guys if you wanted to see a cleaning video, like a separate cleaning video, or my vlog with cleaning in it. Sorry, I'm like winded. I just got done working out. And so far, a lot of you guys said you would just rather see my daily vlog with the cleaning video, um, like a little tidbit of cleaning in it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I have to check it when I get back, but I'm going to go because now I'm just rambling and I got to go get my groceries and run Target. I don't plan on being in there long, so it's almost 10. Let's see if we can get back by 10.45. It'll be a good goal. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay, so I know I look ridiculous with my glasses on and my hat, but I had to put them on because, I don't know, I should not have not worn my contacts. Um, I'm making sure I got everything out of the car. Just because I did not realize how my distance isn't that bad, but I didn't realize how, like, bad it could be. Um, it just kind of threw me off. Ugh. It just kind of threw me off um, when I was driving. I didn't have, like, my distance wasn't the best. But, I mean, I could still drive and I was perfectly fine. Um, I used to be, like, a negative 375. So, being a negative one is nothing. But, I was going to show you what I got from the store, but first I'm going to unload it and turn on these lights. It's like so dark in this house. I swear, whenever I am home, I have a lot of lights on, not a lot, but I have like more than what my husband has on. And he comes home, he turns all of them off. So I'm like, thanks, you want us just to live in the darkness? So anyways, I'm gonna unload these groceries and then I'll show you what I got real quick. I'm not the only one that has to do this, but like, I have to lay out all my food on the counter. I remember Mr. Thane, he did like a grocery haul um, one time and he was like, you have to make it in one trip, which I'm all about making it in one trip, but I'm not all about like hurting myself and, and breaking things. So um, my husband's normally the one trip person, but I have to lay out all my stuff on the counter and I'm like, this does not look like $40, but it's $40. So I'm going to show you what I got this week. Um, we did have a couple things. Like we have chicken in the freezer. But this is what we bought. So I'm going to show you and turn around. So Gavin's cousin bought these Outshine Great Bars. And they were really, really good. So I wanted to get those as a little sweet treat. Um, I've We've had these before and I like them. It's just cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot. You just pop it in the microwave. I've never had this one before. It's roasted red potatoes and green beans in a Parmesan garlic sauce. Figured that would be pretty good, so I'll let you know how that goes. Chicken, we buy our chicken frozen. I just got three pounds this week because I have some still in the freezer. Eggs, we never buy eggs because, I don't know, I don't care for eggs that much. I'll eat them, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I need eggs. So I just bought some eggs, some cheese because we are doing tacos, like um, black bean tacos this week. My husband decided to get the family size green beans because we normally eat we eat green beans a lot and so he was like well just one family size and then um we can have leftovers so he bought three of those uh italian style bread crumbs i bought some prego i don't know what name brand it was it was some type of name brand um bread crumbs and they were not good and i made parmesan chicken and it just it ruined it so hopefully these are good i think i've had them before and they're pretty good we like these carb balance um, tortillas. We like those for our tacos and quesadillas and stuff. I thought this was gonna be a bigger container and I'm kind of sad because I love baked beans, but it's a little baby container of baked beans. We are going to try to do turkey burgers um, and see how my husband, he has IBS. And so we're gonna try turkey burgers and see how that works. And we'll have um, baked beans and probably a can of green beans or one of those over there my husband likes this natural peter pan peanut butter um i don't think i can eat peanut butter because every time i eat it or an apple my tongue gets really tingly um and it like tingles all night long until the next day so i don't eat that um but the weird thing is i eat almond milk and i'm fine with almond milk but anyways we like this traditional ragu um spaghetti sauce on our spaghetti we have black beans, garlic salt. I normally get garlic powder, but I figured this week I would try that out. 
Um, I'm going to do a chicken alfredo in the crock pot. Um, Tiffany Beeston did it, and I figured I might as well try it out because it looked really good. Um, baking soda, because you always need that. We like these veggie noodles, the Ronzoni brand. Um, I got these tricolor rotini, and then I also got the regular spaghetti ones because my husband and I, we eat that for spaghetti. So we use these for spaghetti and this for chicken alfredo. And I'm super excited about this because it looked awesome in the crock pot. So as far as our meals go this week, we have tacos, spaghetti, chicken parmesan, uh, parmesan chicken that I bake in the oven. Um, we're doing turkey burgers. And then I think one night we're gonna have like sandwiches because we have lots of sandwich meat so this is our weekly haul now on sunday we like to go and get our produce i'll probably if the produce is looking a little eh i'll probably go monday but we like to get our groceries on friday now i went to target and i bought some stuff for our friends that moved in down the street but i bought this for myself i love this method daily shower cleaner because all you have to do is spray it and leave it and it works really great and it really helps for the build up in between showers so i really 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 like this um, and i bought her my friend some of the daily shower cleaner and this was all at target um this little cute wreath i'm not quite sure what to do with it but i thought it was adorable and it already has the little hanger and I don't know if she'll hang it up or what, but I thought it was adorable. So I'm going to put that in her basket. We needed some Dawn. Bought them a card and this little basket. And I'm just going to put some, what's it called? Um, tissue paper under here and just make it fluffy. And I think I'm going to get her a candle as well. So that is their little housewarming gift. And I'll have to put that together. But I have to put all these groceries up. I'm going to hop in the shower. And then I'm going to get started on cleaning. So I am going to get ready um, and I'm just doing my makeup because tonight we're going on a date night. So I just figured I might as well do my makeup and let my hair air dry while I am cleaning the house. So I'm just going to talk to you while I get ready. So there's lots of things in this house that were like, man, I wish we would have done that. Um, there were just a lot of decisions that had to be made and it was very, very confusing when you had to make all those decisions. So like we picked granite countertops, we picked um, a different type of flooring and all that kind of stuff. Like they give you lots of different things that you have to pick. And one of the things that we're regretting is we didn't get a covered patio. Now the patio wouldn't have um, like a screened in area, but it would be covered. So we didn't think that was a big deal because we have never really i guess we both did have covered patios at our parents house but like we also have stuff at our like i know my parents old house they had stuff that was out in the elements and it was fine um so now we're kind of like man i wish we had a covered patio but it's kind of strange because they charge like 12 grand for the covered patio and that was just like way too much over our budget so we just didn't get it and like all of the houses that are popping up right now all have covered patios and we're like ah oh, crap so what we ended up doing is we have a furniture set outside that a co-worker of my husband's gave him gave us and all we had to do was buy cushions and my grandma ended up buying us cushions for it and we bought an umbrella well, the umbrella that we bought, it was from Home Depot and it did not tilt. And we got it and we used it for a little bit. Um, we even had it out for our housewarming party and um, my husband, it started raining at our housewarming party and it was like super duper bad raining and the umbrella was open and my husband was like, ah, like he didn't want to go out there and get it. And which I don't blame him, it was like flooding. So we didn't go out and get it, and then wind caught it and it blew and it hit our window. Well, thankfully, praise the Lord, our window did not break, but the umbrella, we had to go out and get the umbrella and get them got soaked wet. So my husband's like, Man, I wish we had one that tilted. So I was in Walmart the other day and they had some on sale that tilted. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get those. So I ended up buying the same type of umbrella, and but it was two feet larger 
it was nine foot instead of seven and um, it tilted. So I was like, perfect. We have a little, you know, umbrella, whatever. I'm being really long winded, but. So yesterday it started flooding out of nowhere. This random flood came down and my umbrella was open and I thought I should go out there and close it. So I opened the door and it was like flooding and it was coming down so hard. And I was like, I'm gonna go get my rain jacket. Oh, sorry. I was like, I'm gonna go get my rain jacket and just go and um, get the umbrella and close it and you know, whatever. So I did and while I was going to go get my rain jacket, I heard a loud thud and I was like, oh junk, that's the umbrella. And it sounded like it hit the door and it did. And it came off the base and the base is like, it has a lot of sand and it's actually like really, really heavy. And I was very, very shocked that it came out of the base, but it did. And it brought the tabletop along with it. So that was, that was fun. So here I am, I'm getting flooded on. My table is torn apart. I have to like take it all apart you know, whatever. And I just got soaked. So I'm just trying to figure out like what the best thing to do is. I know we could have someone come and possibly like add a covered area, but with the HOA, it's kind of like, mm, you don't know. So anyways, that's our dilemma right now. But hopefully it will get solved soon so we decided that whenever it starts to rain or like when we're not using the umbrella we're just going to leave it closed so things like that don't happen and as of right now the umbrella that we bought fun stuff it does not have um a tie to close it so my husband had to get some string that he had in the garage and tie it up and it's bright orange so Looks lovely. <laughs> That's our dilemma right now. There's a lot of things that were like, man, I wish we would've done that, wish we would've done that. But in the end, like, it's our house. We love it. Yes, there were way things that would've made our life a little bit easier, but it'll be okay. It'll all be okay. So, I'm almost done. See, it didn't take that long to make it up. Just super quick and easy. So I know I said in my last video where I did a makeup thing and people were like, that's not how you do makeup. And I'm like, I already said I'm not a makeup person. I am not a total like makeup person at all. My friend is like awesome at makeup. And I'm like, man, I wish I could be like you. You're so good. But I'm not. Like I just am like, hmm, here we go. And I went into Sephora the other day and I like makeup. I like playing with it. And I saw the Tarte stuff. So, and I was like, man, I should get their foundation. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Sephora and I'm going to have them, you know how they do their makeovers and stuff? Like they put all the makeup on you and you can kind of see if you like it before you buy it. I think I might have them do that. Um, let me know if any of you guys have used a Tarte foundation. They have a bunch of them. Let me know. Or if there's any other foundations that you like. Um, I'm like semi-oily skin. So, and I don't want like too much coverage, but I want some coverage because I do have like freckles that I like to cover up and all that. So let me know if you've tried the Tarte foundation or any of the Tarte products, let me know down below because I really, I want to like look back at the camera because I'm really, really wanting to try them. So now that I'm done doing my makeup, I am going to start to clean. So I'm gonna bring you along with me. So our house is an absolute mess and yet our closet does not have a door because we are in the process of getting a barn door for it. Um, so our house is a mess. It's not too, too bad. There are a couple things that I haven't um, gotten to in like a week or so, which is really, really bad. Um, like, I just have to clean the toilets and wipe off the counters and all that kind of stuff. And then the kitchen has some dishes and everything. So it's not like a complete clean. It's not like a, oh, we're cleaning up the whole house. It's just going to be like, I know I haven't done this in a while and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm just going to do it. 
So if you want to watch the cleaning video, keep on watching. Um, I'm going to end, or not end it. I'm going to put it in this vlog and just have a little section. I'm going to put a time right here of where the cleaning section ends. So if you're not interested in watching a cleaning section of a video, um, just skip on over to the next part. So let's get started on cleaning. <music> Those days we were young and had nothing to do I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm. Sometimes we'd okay, I know this pillow does not match But I'm getting a <laughs> pillow cover for it This is the actual pillow itself So I'm having to get like a dark gray pillow cover So yes, just ignore this for the time being I will get a new pillow cover soon Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your ripped jeans I can still see it all We ran on top of buildings Just like a scene from a movie Living our life on the edge And we'd never trip and fall We'd never trip and fall I 
quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight A lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk cleaning up and while I was cleaning up my husband came home um, he wasn't supposed to come home until like one ish but he came home and we ate lunch together so I stopped what I was doing and I ate lunch and then um, my camera died so I wasn't able to like finish filming everything else but I did clean up our guest bathroom and just sprayed the shower down with um, that method daily shower cleaner. I love that stuff. It's the best stuff ever. It's really good for like soap scum and you just like leave it and that's what I did in our shower. I just sprayed it and left it. I didn't even scrub it because tomorrow I'm going to go in there and scrub it down. So I'm just going to like let it sit and do its magic and then tomorrow I'll scrub and then I just spray down our guest bath because really no one's in there. The last time someone was in there was like last week. So yeah like taking a shower so anyways I am in our office right now and it's a lovely hot mess but I wanted to show you guys some things that I have made and like just a little bit of what I'm planning on doing this year um I think fingers crossed I can go into my classroom next week so I'm really really excited about that because I'm just ready to get it all organized how I want it to be our vacuum cleaners going on in there um i'm just wanting to get it organized how i want it to be and just get ready for the school year like if i have my room put together then i can feel like i can get like academic stuff put together so i just what i'm really gonna try to do next week is get that together and of course i'm gonna vlog it so i was gonna show you some things that i've made and some things that i didn't make but i plan on using this year so i'm gonna turn you around so I bought these iridescent gift bags and this ribbon. It's like a blue color. Um, and now I'm kind of like not wanting ribbon because I want the kind. You know how you put the scissors on it and it curls like a curling ribbon? This one is, I'm sure it's not going to do that. But I found some at Target I might try to get. Um, or I might just keep that since I already bought it. And then next year I'll know better. But I made these little like happy birthday tags. To go in the bag and it's a no homework pass so as far as homework goes this year i'm going to do a reading log and then they're gonna have math homework every night only like three or four problems and so that will be um this will be a pass for like a one night um of no homework so this is going to be in their little goodie bag i'm also going to get like pencils erasers and possibly bubbles and put them in here i saw this on pinterest so i really wanted to do that i'm going to make them go ahead and make them for all the kids um so when it's their birthdays i can just pull and grab i have a bunch of different color paper right here i have like green blue pink and orange yeah orange and i'm trying to figure out which color will look best i'm thinking this purple color what do you think do you think this looks good with this ribbon i mean it really doesn't matter i didn't want to do like boy bags and girl bags i wanted to do all the same color so i don't know i think i might just do this color and then i also created a reading log it's very very simple it just has a day and the title of the book the parents don't even have to sign it it's just i want them to be accountable for what they're reading um I don't know I might change my mind and put a parent signature thing right here um, but honestly sometimes the kids aren't even home with their parents so as long as they're recording what they read I'm good with that um, and then also let's go on the computer get off that I made a dismissal schedule for our team so I'm gonna flip it around hold on 
I was talking to my teammate and she was like, come on, quit being yellow. Why is it being yellow? Because I was looking at the computer. Um, sorry, it's yellow. I was asking my teammate like, hey, why, now it changed. I was like, what are your duties in the morning and the afternoon? Because at my last school, we did morning duty and afternoon duty and it just kind of rotated in our assistant principal, I said VP, um, our assistant principal, um, he, she created a schedule for us and my teammate was like, yeah, we just kind of do it. And like some teams do it like all year and that's what they have. They have car loop duty all year or they have kindergarten gate duty all year. And I was like, mm -mm, that's not going to work. So I created an afternoon duty schedule where we're all like rotating through and there's five of us. So there's going to be a week where one of us is not going to be doing our duty. So I did that for the whole entire school year. I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick. Hold on. Turn your around. So I made that just in PowerPoint. It's super quick. Like it has the dates, the duty, and then the names of us. And I made that for the whole year. Then I also, I made this. And I don't know if you guys would like to do this. But it's a, let me turn the brightness down. Okay. It's a writing templates and lessons like thing on PowerPoint. So what I did is I like wrote down the ideas I had for narrative writing and then just kind of like did like kind of like a lesson plan. Yeah. A lesson plan of the days and then a little planning sheet for the kids. Um, and then that's another lesson. So what I'm doing is I'm just combining like all the writing lessons that I really, really like into a narrative and um, informative or expository section. And I'm just kind of um, combining them all together so then throughout the year I can just pull up this one PowerPoint and be like, oh, I want to do a narrative. Oh, I haven't done that one this year, so I'm going to do that. So that is my plan for now. So when I see things on Pinterest, I can just add them onto this document. Then I also think that was it. Oh, I started doing a standards thing, but then I was like, nah, I don't really want to get into that. But I can't find it. Where did it go? There's the binder. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I bought this Edible Rustic White Wood labels, and what I started doing is I started creating labels for my library. Now, what I am going to be doing this year is I have an NF and an F version of all the different levels, but I'm also going to have, like, if I have a bunch of, I know I have a bunch of Black Lagoon books, so that will be a, um, a basket in itself, and each basket is going to be numbered, so it's either going to be an NF, which is nonfiction, or an F, and then a basket number five for the nonfiction five basket, and then if it's fiction, it's going to be F5, and the kids will know, like, okay, this book goes to that basket, and then I'll just create some different labels um, that go on each of the books so the kids know exactly where they're supposed to be. I feel like that would work out really well. Let me turn you around. So I've always had, oh, let's focus, focus. It'll change in a second. I've always had, like, a struggle with how to organize my classroom library and I feel like this is really gonna work because it's either gonna be fiction or nonfiction or a different like a genre um so I think that's really gonna work out well for my kiddos and I think it'll be easy if I make labels and print them out and put them stick them in the book so then the kid knows once he he or she opens it like oh this goes in NF3 or NF2 or F5 and then they know like that's where it goes. So those are labels I'm gonna put on the outside of the buckets. I really like the circle and it's white wood, which is what I'm gonna be doing this year. Just like white wood and just simple rustic, but not too rustic. I mean, my cabinets are purple, so <laughs> you can't do it too, you know, rustic. So that is my plan. As far as containers, I really wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and see if they had any of the white buckets, but those are so hard to find. So I'm just gonna have to go on a little spree. I wanted to spray paint my buckets I had, but I just, that sounds like a lot of work. I'd rather just buy them for a dollar and just be done. So that's pretty much all that I'm doing right now. Um, 
I'm not going to be doing anything else today because my husband's home and we are going to hang out tonight. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on in my classroom. So next week, hopefully, keep your eyes peeled for um, a classroom vlog. I'm so excited to be in my new room um, and nervous and scared and just everything else. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below. And comment down below what your classroom theme is going to be this year if you're having a classroom. Um, or if you don't have a classroom quite yet, what you're thinking of your theme being. Because I love hearing everyone's different themes. They're always so stinking cute. So comment down below the theme of your classroom or future classroom. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great summer. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Just like a seed from home